was the night before Christmas. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. <laughs> oh, Santa. Hello, Virginia. Hello, Jackie. How did you know our name? Because he said it. Dressed up, that's how. He is not Daddy. Well, he's not a real Santa Claus. Are you really? Come here, children. Come on, Jackie. Yes, I'm really Santa Claus. And I want you to believe in me. For children who don't believe in Santa Claus miss the joy of Christmas. Tell us a story, Santa. Tell you a story? Certainly. I'll tell you about the monkey's Christmas. A story you'll always remember. Uh, monkeys don't have a Santa Claus. Indeed they do. Monkeys, you know, are very much like human beings in many ways. And sometimes they do the very same things that we do. For instance, in the spring, they like to get out in the open. And there is a place called Monkey Mountain, where there's always sunshine and monkey shine. There are good monkeys and bad monkeys. But here is Charlie, a good little monkey who likes pretzels. And although monkeys don't like to go into the water, Charlie is willing to swim for once. But the selfish monkeys want to get Charlie's pretzel the easy way. And no matter how he tries, he can't get away from those bad monkeys who steal his dainty morsel. But when it comes to bananas, all monkeys make pigs of themselves. Even Charlie's in there getting his share, gobbling up skins and all. people like that who don't want to give anybody else a chance. Oh, well, it's all in fun. Well, eating too fast and too much lands this fellow right into the doctor's office. Serves him right. Open wide now. My, my, what a funny face. Sometimes monkeys catch cold. So like good little monkeys, they take a hot foot bath before going to bed. If sick monkeys do what they're told, they get well quickly. That's good for all of us to know, isn't it? Now let's see, what else do I know about those little fellows? Oh, yes. Monkeys celebrate other holidays, too. On Halloween, they duck for apples. But after all, ducking for apples is the hard way. It's easier to pick them out. And on Halloween night, they dress up in funny costumes and wear masks just as you do. But you were going to tell us about the monkey Christmas and about the monkey Santa Claus. Yes, Santa, please tell us more. Well, let's see. When Christmas draws near, even the bad monkeys try to be good. And they even get all prettied up for the Christmas holidays. The girl monkeys put on their nicest dresses and hats and try to look their best. The boy monkeys see that their hair is cut and their fingernails are trimmed and polished. Well, 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 that soap must taste pretty good. He wants more. 
Monkeys usually live in trees or on monkey mountains. But these monkeys have heard all about Santa Claus and how he comes down the chimney. But they can't have a chimney unless they have a house. So there's nothing else to do but build a house. No children, that's not mortar. Something tells me that it's whipped cream, or he wouldn't be taking such a big portion. And then the great day arrives, and down the chimney comes the monkey Santa Claus. And what a time is in store for those good little monkeys. Toys galore, and a whole room filled with surprises. You see, children, monkeys are very much like you in many ways, except one. What way is that? They know they're monkeys, but you don't. <laughs> oh, I know I'm not a monkey, but you are really Santa Claus, aren't you? Virginia, I'm going to answer your question by telling you what to say to any of your little friends who lose the wonderful spirit of Christmas. They do not believe except they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible to their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men or children, are little. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. <laughs> Now, if you believe in Santa Claus, you might as well not believe in fairies. Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither men nor children can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not. But that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in this world. You can tear apart the baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside. But there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest man, nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived can tear apart. Only faith, fancy, poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, oh, Virginia, in all this world, there is nothing else real and abiding. No Santa Claus. He lives, and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, 10 times 10,000 years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. Thank you.